adjust the colors because if you're you know maybe you're watching you're like oh lime green Stacy yuck I don't want it then you don't have to do lime green you know you could do pink a very bold pink it'd be really cute maybe you like the orange side you could do the orange you could use probably any of the neons there's also a blue in here a blue flower so you do blue that's going to take me 10 years you guys to dig that out of there okay have a thought once I get this off. There we go. No, it's still not great, but it'll do for now. I wonder if this one's gonna need hedge cleanup too. I wonder if I cut this in half. I'm not super happy with these, these ones. No, I wouldn't like that either, so I'm just going to have to leave them. Maybe the Northern Lights will make me happy with them. Maybe just adding glitter will be the, the touch that I need to it. And part of it could just be that I'm not loving these like bold colors on my um very very pale skin right now you know maybe I just would like them better in the summer maybe I wouldn't maybe I'm never gonna like it no it's not true because I've used them and I do like them and the glitter might help a little glitter from Northern Lights might be just what I need. I'm gonna paint half my finger. Wouldn't be a good time if I didn't. There we go. I like the black better than the white myself but I tend to like darker colors so and with that little pop of green with the black is real cute and real retro feeling this Daisy Me Rollin' would be um, a good set for them to do as like a throwback set because it would be very on trend right now You know they're very on trend right now. Big floral. This, the other set like this is Oopsa Paisley. So if you get that, it has the white and black backgrounds, but no, it also is. It is also very sheer. So if you don't want to kind of there's a like there we go crunchy bit on there if you don't want to kind of have it like get a little bit dull when you put it on put white underneath it at least for the white strips the white strips otherwise are gonna almost blend right into your fingers so you want to do something for sure pretty it feels summery even if it's snowing there we go guys let me know black strips or white strips i like the black better for sure have a good day i'll talk to you soon well good morning friends you guys it's eight in the morning what in the hairy heck Ugh. i'm deep into my cold and you guys are gonna be like cold well that's because I filmed my videos out of order 
<laughs> so the next one's gonna tell you I have a cold you guys so I'm sounding like I'm on the last few days of the ruckus when I start to lose my voice oh goodness okay we're using Daisy Me Rollin which is this beauty right here um, and pairing it with two of the old Sally Hansen salon effects squeezed is the bright orange and groove is the bright green eee. very fun um, this set super sheer and I am gonna show you that further down the line here Come on, bugger. There we go. It's snowing here today, so I figured I might as well do something springing, right? I mean, happy March. It's snowing. That's how you celebrate springtime in Minnesota. Okay, so... I don't like <laughs> I don't like this one so I'm gonna see if I can adjust it a little this time oh, dang it adjust it a little this time I thought you guys might like to hear the birdies squawking their little faces off they had their banana breakfast so they're ready to be in it to win it and I got up, like, tartar and beef both, they have to go outside in the morning. That's their thing. They love it. Even when it snows. So tartar didn't stay out long. <laughs> but beef did. And so I went outside to call him in. And he's so cute when he's stomping through the snow in the back. Because, like, he had a pretty good path. Well, they did. Because they both run on it. They had a pretty good path squashed down. But now it's all fresh snow. And he's like. Ur, 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 his little determined face. I'm coming mom. Coming through the snow. And I am going to kick this snow. It's very cute. Oh yeah biscuit holer. That's the problem with the salon effects you guys. Is you need to not use them when you have a medicine head <laughs> like I do right now <laughs> I can probably make this work though yep I sure can medicine head you guys don't go on Facebook and such when you're loaded up on the quill the day quill and the night quill and all the quills So these Sally Hansen ones, you guys, are, um, these are from 2011. These two we're using today. So you do got to have a little bit of patience with them, but they're worth it in my opinion. I mean, they're still sticky and everything. They're just, it's like they get a little thinner, I think. Is how they react. There we go. Now, this one. I want to cut it thinner than I did the last one. Maybe. Maybe it's so thin now I can't get a hold of it. Okay. And I'm putting it along the green. 
because I don't want it to eat up my orange. So, bottom edge of the green. There. Well, there we go. Okay. Now this one I thought it would be fun. So these Daisy May Rollings came with black and white. Either way, wherever it's white, whether it's the white flowers over here or the majority of the background over here, it's sheer. So... I'm going to do one finger, well, one thumb of each. So you guys can see. And I did cut all my nails back the other day. And that's messing with me a little bit, too, because I'm used to having them. I cut a, quite a bit off, probably a quarter inch or more. But, I mean... From your base here to your, you know, where your nail bed ends, that's like four to six months takes to grow out. So when your nails are super long out here, you think about that. That's a few months of nail out there that's been getting beat up and sometimes it's good to just trim it back and let it be a little bit healthier nail instead of one that you've been trying to file and rescue and file and rescue. But at least that's how I look at it. So trim them back. Also, I don't like having to spend two strips on my nails if I can get away with it. kind of always have to on the thumbs. They'd have to really, really be short for me not to need to, but the rest of them I can usually get away with it. Even when they're pretty long. I guess that's a benefit to having short nail beds because there's not a lot of other benefits to it. It drives me crazy. Okay, now let's take this one. are super sticky and I'm gonna cut it long ways just to make it easy to deal with I'll see if you can you can see it's super sheer so this should make it very orangey yep and the other one will make it very grainy. Well, this is, ooh, this is very sticky, you guys. It's like using a peel-off <laughs> mask or something. <laughs> Come on, bugger. You can do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. I'll fight the rest of that later. For now, it can stay. But isn't that fun? And then, if you use... The black over this, where all the white flowers are, it would go green. Well, maybe I should do that on this one. Then you guys can see that. That's a good idea. Since I had it. Isn't that fun? So you keep your black background, but anything white goes 
gets tinted green. On the upside, it makes that green um, fern bit there get a little bolder looking. But they, I don't know. It doesn't feel like they um, do this style of nail anymore for some reason. I don't know why. Because it's my favorite. I like it when something is sheer and we can play a little bit.